Okie dokie. In this problem, we are given a function of x and y, and the goal is to identify which of these points are critical points. So what we'll do is find the first partial derivative with respect to x. We'll find the first partial derivative with respect to y, and then we'll just plug and chug these three ordered pairs into both fx and fy in hopes of finding that fx and fy are both equal to zero. So plugging in an ordered pair and seeing that both fx and fy are equal to zero, that's what would tell us that one of these ordered pairs is a critical point. So let's give it a go. We need fx, the derivative with respect to x. So negative 4x cubed would go to minus 12x squared. The y would stay attached. The x squared would go to 2x. And again, the y would stay multiplied since it was multiplied from the start. And then this lone y squared would be treated as a constant. So its derivative would be 0 with respect to x. And then the minus 2 would go to 0 as well. So this is our entire fx derivative. So now we need the derivative with respect to y. This y would go to 1. But then the minus 4x cubed would stay, since it was multiplied by the y from the start. And then this y would go to 1. But then the x squared would stay attached, since it was multiplied from the start. And then the plus 2y would go to... Or sorry, what did I say? 2y. I meant this plus y squared would go to plus 2y. And that would be it for the derivative with respect to y. So these ones can basically get canceled out since we're just multiplying by one for each of them. So now we have fx and fy. What I'm going to do for the remainder is go ahead and plug these x and y values in to all of these partial derivatives and get the values for every single one. And our goal, keep in mind, is looking for which ordered pairs make both fx and fy equal to zero. Alrighty, so we've plugged in the ordered pairs to both fx and fy for all three options here. So talking through option A, we had 1 fourth comma 0. So plugging in 1 fourth and 0 into fx and fy got us 0 for both fx and fy. So it checks out that A is a critical point. So far, so good. So then for option B, we had 1 sixth and negative 1 over 2 16, which means... We plug those in for fx and fy, and it turns out that we got 0 for both of those, which indicates that b is a critical point. So checks out. And then we could probably see without looking at the Desmos calculation, but plugging in 0, 0 to fx and fy would make everything equal to 0 in the end. But let's go ahead and pull it up just for a little visual here. We have fx equals 0, and fy equals 0. So 0, 0 is also a critical point because it makes fx and fy equal to 0. So it looks like all of these are critical points.